Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, some tips and tricks regarding your Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or your Samsung S8 S8 Plus, and we're gonna go and take a look at the device maintenance under settings, which is gonna be right over here. Now, this menu here allows you to manage uh, your phone's battery, storage, and memory. So let's go right inside, and there's a couple things I want you to check out really quickly. Uh, first and foremost, on the top here, you have two buttons. Uh, if you do tap this button, uh, this button actually gives you information about your apps. If any of your apps in your smartphone are causing any issues, it's going to get logged right here. For example, I have the MMI Connect application for my Audi car. and looks like it has given me two problems so far. Uh, one, it has actually crashed, and number two, it was actually draining some battery, which I looked into and I was able to fix it. So it's a nice thing to come here and look at the apps that might be giving you problems. And uh, if, if the problem is not fixable by digging around, you can uninstall that app and potentially, uh, you know, save battery drain, which was killing my battery life. Uh, let's go back here. The other thing I want you to do is tap over here. And what you could do is you can uh, add shortcut on home screen to the device maintenance screen. So if I tap this guy, it says shortcut has been uh, added to the home screen. And if I do go to the home screen, you'll see that on a brand new page, uh, you'll have a button that takes you straight into device maintenance. Of course, you can take this button and you can put it anywhere on the screen or move it around your home pages. So let's go back inside. And the other thing I want you to do is make sure uh, that this device maintenance is up to date. It is usually up to date, but just to check, if you tap here and tap on about device maintenance, uh, you'll see at the bottom here, the version on the top here, at the bottom, it's going to say uh, the latest version is already installed. If it is not, there's going to be an update button right here. Just tap it and make sure it's up to date. Now, let's go back and talk about all these parameters at the bottom really quickly. Now, first and foremost, make sure you always have a 100 score. Uh, sometimes you'll see 85, 75, 65, 69, whatever. If that happens, this button will be available. You can tap it and it's going to optimize your phone uh, for maximum performance. Uh, but let's go into the battery here. And I want to show you a couple things. So basically, here you get some information about your battery. But over here, you have something called the power savings mode. Right now, it is turned off because the phone is uh, 60, has 60% battery life, so I don't need any power savings mode. But if you were having any problem with your battery life and you wanted to extend your battery life, what you can do, uh, you can do a couple things. Even without playing with this option, you can go down here and you can actually tap on save power. And that's going to help you, uh, you know, it's going to put some of the apps that are running in the background to sleep and it's going to save you some extra battery life. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, if you want to save even more battery, you can tap on this mid and once you tap it, it brings up a window. Now this window is in fact customizable. If you look at it here, it's going to decrease the brightness. Uh, it's going to change the screen resolution. Uh, it's going to allow the speed limiter to be activated on your CPU. So that's going to actually slow down, slow down some of the tasks. And of course, you have all these other options. Uh, background network usage is going to go off. That's going to save you battery life. And if you apply this, it's going to give you two hours and nine minutes of extra battery life on top of what I already have. Now, what you can do is you can customize this. So you tap on customize and it's going to take you inside here and you can say, OK, don't decrease the brightness. I like the brightness. So keep it at um, at none. And the screen resolution, I do like the full HD plus resolution. And then with the speed limiter, maybe you do need the CPU to run at maximum performance. So you can disable that. And once you have customized it, you can tap on apply and it's going to apply the customized um, medium power savings option. And of course, it's going to indicate that at the bottom. So just be aware of these little details. Uh, the other thing is if your battery is at 10% or maybe 15%, and you're kind of far away from a charging source, but you need to be able to talk to your friends, uh, family, and also be able to text and browse a little bit, browse the, webs, uh, the web. Uh, what you can do is you can go to maximum power savings mode, and that's going to transform your phone into a really basic black and white interface. So let me show you what that looks like, but it gives you enormous hours of extra battery life. Now, as you can see, it is being up applied right now. So let's see what it turns into after this. And we are done. And take a look at what we have. Something very basic. You only have a bunch of apps here uh, that you can access. You can add them by tapping this. 
So I can have the calculator here and I can access that. Uh, as you can see, the, even the background is black and white, which saves you power on these Super AMOLED displays. But basically, uh, it says over here, uh, your battery life now is 36 hours and 33 minutes. And that's going to allow you to do all these basic things over here. You can even browse the gallery, uh, go to your phone, uh, add some of the other available applications. Now, not all apps are going to be available. You're not going to be able to play games here. Uh, that kind of makes sense because the games will eat your battery very fast. But anyway, when you're done with this mode, uh, you can also edit this. But you can actually turn off maximum power savings mode when you're finally at a charging station. And then you go back to 10 hour battery life at 60% charge in, my, in this scenario. Okay, so as you can see, we're back in business. Now let's go back into the settings over here for a minute. Uh, let's go back into device maintenance. And if you go into the battery, you can also tap this button on the top here, uh, which can allow you to go into the advanced settings. From here, you have a couple other options you can play with. Uh, make sure these two are enabled. Uh, most of the time, by default, they are in fact enabled, but if they're not, make sure they are in fact enabled. So anytime you charge your smartphone, it is using the fast charging option wherever available. And of course, you have this button at the bottom that says percentage on status bar. If you tap this, it kills the percentage meter on the top, so it takes less space. But if you like it, you can have it. I like to keep it. Uh, let's go back over here and... Uh, Go back to the main screen and then go to uh, the performance mode. This is very straightforward. If you want to play games, you can just switch to the gaming mode. Uh, if you're going to be watching movies, just uh, listening to music, you can go to the entertaining mode. And if you just want to max out everything, you go to high performance mode. Now, as you can see, the recommended mode is optimized and that's where I have it. Now, anytime you're any in, inside of any one of these modes, for example, right now we're at optimized. You can tap on the settings and do some customization on individual modes. So in the optimized mode, I can have the game launcher available. I can have the video enhancer on, which makes the videos look even sharper. And of course I can tap in and change the resolution of my screen. Now if I go to the high performance mode, just as an, as an example, as you can see, it's gonna increase the brightness, increase the screen resolution, and then everything is maxed out, so there's nothing to customize here. So some of these options are not going to have that, but I, I recommend that you stay in optimized unless you're specifically about to uh, play a game or do some kind of entertainment. Let's go back here, and let's go to the storage. Now here there's a couple things to do. The best option is as soon as you come here, if there's any extra space that is being wasted on your smartphone, it's going to say just clean it. So if you tap this guy, it's going to clean uh, things you don't need and it's going to give you even more uh, extra space for your music, for your photos, just in case you're having problem with your uh, storage space capacity. Otherwise, you really don't have to worry about it. And if you tap here, you can go into storage settings. And of course, this gives you information uh, about your uh, phone's storage, such as total space, available space, the system memory, and it's also doing calculations on what's being used right now and all that good stuff. Uh, you can also tap on Explore. That takes you into a file explorer from where you can basically um, uh, access the entire files on your smartphone. Okay, so this is the file explorer right here. And of course, uh, let's go back over here. If you tap this again, you can tap on Get More Space again. It's a breakdown of what's happening on your phone storage-wise. So if I tap on this large files, it shows me what is taking a lot of space on my smartphone. So as you can see, there's a bunch of videos here. Uh, mostly they are video files that are taking a lot of space. And if I realize that it's something I don't need, I can tap this and I can simply delete it. All right. Or back it up to cloud. Uh, what you can also do is you can do the same thing with... Um, unnecessary files. If I tap this guy, you get access to all these useless files. Again, you can select them and delete them and save even more space. So that's a get more space option on your smartphone. Okay, and then finally, if you go to the memory here, uh, this is the RAM of your smartphone. Uh, if you're using unnecessary RAM, uh, you can tap on clean and it will get rid of 1.5 gigabytes of RAM for no reason. 
Now we're doing pretty good here. We have six gigabytes of RAM on the Note 8, only three. Uh, 2.8 gigabyte is being used. But if I want even more freedom here, I mean free space here, I can just tap this and it's going to clear even more RAM. It's going to get rid of all these uh, apps in the background that were eating into my memory. All right, guys, so that is the device maintenance. I just wanted to go in there and make sure you're fully aware of everything that resides within this option here. Now, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more tech videos. Guys, if you do use Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, uh, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech online and make sure uh, to have a fantastic day.